Hello, viewers. I'm JJ, and this is Mikey. Hey, guys. We ride these cool bikes to our new house that our parents bought. I love riding through the woods with Mikey sometimes. Look at that huge house. Just imagine how much fun it would be to play spinning here. I'm sure this house is worth a lot of money. And how much do you think this house is worth? Well, over $3 million for sure. That's a huge castle. It's a royal castle where the real royal family lives. Ha! And you get to be the little crying royal princess. And then you'll be the king's clown in this castle. Because you're so ridiculous and stupid that you can only be laughed at. Now that was a shame. We can drop these bikes here and go show you the inside of our house. It's so huge when you get that close to home. Let's go inside already. I can't imagine who lived here before us in this cool house. Maybe it was some kind of witch or a rich writer. Why would a witch live here? Well, in all sorts of fairy tales, they live either in little houses in the woods or in huge, mysterious houses. Witches only exist in your silly fairy tales, Mikey. At least I read storybooks. You can't read at all. That's not true. It doesn't matter. Let's just find our parents. By the way, where did they hide? They usually sit here by the fireplace. We have to find them. That's going to be hard to do in a house this big. Yeah, I have no idea where we can find them. There's like a hundred different rooms in here, and they could be in any one of them. Oh, hi, kids. You're home already? Oh, hi, Mom, Dad. We lost you. We finally found you. We're hungry. You made lunch, didn't you? I'd love to eat a little. Yes, we made a bunch of delicious food for you. Oh, yeah, right on time. After a long bike ride, this is just what you need. Wow, the food looks so delicious and appetizing. Oh, yeah, that smells so good. Our mom's a real chef. Hey, hey, thanks, kids. Very good food. You're a great cook, honey. This is the best thing I've ever eaten. Oh, yeah. We need a good meal to see the whole house. There are too many unknown rooms. By the way, yes, we bought a house without any idea how many rooms there are. Uh, this is going to be pretty dangerous. But this is our home. There's no one here but us. All right, well, just be careful. We don't know what could be out there. That's why we want to find out what's in it. Okay, we'll let you do it. Only it's very dusty in there. I don't think the kids care. We don't care about the dust. We will definitely find some hidden treasure. This house is like an old tomb of gold. Oh, yeah. We'll find that gold and we'll be even richer. Although it would seem we're rich enough to afford such a big one. This is not going to end well. Now let's go look at all the rooms. I can't wait to get started. I wonder how many floors this house even has. I think it's five or six floors. It's just that some floors are smaller and some are bigger. And we're on the big floor now. I wonder which door we should start with. I think this is the right door for us. It's got a kind of ominous coldness to it. I think it's just a regular door. There won't be anything interesting in there at all. We can take a quick look and go to another room. All right, let's go. It's still here. Whoa, it's some kind of library. And there's all sorts of potions. I told you there might be a witch living here. I guess you're right. I have no idea what all these potions do. Maybe we'll be super duper mega strong if we drink this. Or we'll be super duper mega weak and small. That's a very bad idea, I think. And we need to get out of here. These potions could be some kind of poison. Stop being afraid of everything. We should taste what it feels like after all. What if you turn into a pig after this potion? You better throw that vial away. It's no good. You're a whiner, JJ. Where's the exit? I'm tired of walking through these tunnels. There's still a little bit left. We're going outside now. Just be patient. <laughs> Ooh, hey, let's find our new neighbors. It's time to prank them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'd like to control that woman. <laughs> and then I'll run the stupid man. This house belongs to us. <laughs> let's go, let's go. You know, living in the last house was so awful. Oh, yeah, outdoor restroom is not cool at all. You're right, and our straw ceiling was always leaking from the rain. <laughs> Hello, neighbors. Now we're going to be friends. <laughs> oh, my God. There's some kind of little scabidi toilets. Come here, Daddy. Ah! Oh, my God. What is that? Ah! That's it. Now we are one. <laughs> I feel great. Oh, yes. I think it's time to do the same with our babies. What if they don't want to be one with us? Then we'll make them do it. <laughs> with a knife at his throat, any man would take us up on our offer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great plan, honey. We need them to come to them on their own. We'll be looking for them too long in this house. Oh, yeah. You get a lot of dumb ideas in your head, Mikey. This is one of them. If you don't like the idea, then it's definitely worth doing. Hey, you're gonna drink that on purpose to spite me? Boom! We'll be under this potion together. JJ, Mikey, come here. It's an emergency. Oh my god. I think our parents realized we were doing something forbidden. Oh, something's happening to me. Mikey, you've gotten bigger, and now you're shrinking. You're shrinking too. What's going on? We've gotten small. It's all because of your potion. Our parents will be angry at us. Oh my god. What are 
are we going to do now? We need to go see our parents. I think they can help us get big again. But first, they're going to beat us up. JJ, Mikey, where are you? Come here. Oh, my God. Our parents are getting meaner and meaner. I can't imagine how they're going to react to this. Stop whining. We'll say this potion fell on us. No one's going to believe this nonsense. Hey, 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 kids, there you are. <laughs> we have a very favorable offer for you. Come here, we'll play with you. Why do our parents need knives? I don't like this. Come here or we'll stab you. What? You guys are weird and mean. We're not going to come near you. Mikey, we gotta go. Run? Where to? We're in the same house. You're not going anywhere. We need to split up. You run in one direction. I'll crawl in the other. Okay, that's a good idea. I agree. You'll never be able to hide from us. This is our home. You'll never get me because you're so big and clumsy. And I'm small and fast. They split up. I didn't realize they were so smart. What do we do? We'll split up too. You go upstairs and I'll go to the basement. We can get them. Oh yeah, great plan, honey. You're so smart. Then meet me here when we've dealt with them. This is our home. We know it much better. And now I'm going to find my favorite son. It's starting to piss me off that he's resisting. Then I'll punish him. He must obey me. Okay, I've never been in this basement before. I need to find shelter as soon as possible. Where am I supposed to hide? There's all kinds of weird equipment in here. I'm afraid to even touch it. Friends, have you ever played hide and seek with your parents? Write about it in the comments. I can hear someone coming up the stairs. I'm running out of time. I think I can hide in this closet. No one can find me here. Here I am. JJ, come out. It's just me, your favorite mommy. We just want to play a little game with you. Oh my God, no one plays with a knife in their hand. She's obviously lost her mind. I can hear you talking somewhere. Ha <laughs> ha! You can never shut up. Oh my god, that's a skibbity toilet on her back. My mom is infected with this parasite. Where's his voice coming from? It's so quiet. When is she going to leave? I'm getting more and more scared. Her knife is so big. I don't think he's here. I gotta go. Maybe I thought he was there. She's finally out of here. I thought she was about to find me. Now I realize what happened to my parents. It's all the fault of the skibbity toilets again. Friends, do you think Mikey was able to hide from his dad? Write about it in the comments. I gotta get out of here. I can't go back out the same door. Oh, I have an idea. I can use the elevator for dishes. That way, I can get back to my house. I'm so small because of that potion. It's like this elevator was made for me. It's my only chance of survival in this situation. How am I supposed to get this elevator up and running? Oh, there you are. Where are you going? Get out of there. Nope, you're not my mom. You're a parasitic skibitist. Stop right there. Bye-bye. Ha-ha. -bye. <laughs> Ha ha ha! I'm smarter than you, stupid skibbity toilet. Only I have no idea where this elevator will take me. It's some kind of unknown room. I think it's time to seek out Mikey and tell him about the skibbidists. Ow! The elevator's going down. I don't think there's any way mom's gonna make it down here. What kind of room is this anyway? It looks like some kind of abandoned attic. It's full of cobwebs and drawers and weird paintings. Who's talking? Mikey, stop hiding. I just want to talk to you. Oh no, and there's already a dad in this room. Nowhere is safe. Hey, stop hiding already. Where'd you go? Why did they get so small? It's starting to piss me off. Dad has a dumb skibidi toilet sitting on his back too. Daddy is just as infected as mommy. He's not here. I'll look somewhere else. Whew, I think I'm safe now. At least for the time being, there's no way mom is going to take the elevator here. All that's left is to find Mikey. Hey, Mikey, come out. It's JJ. It's safe. Stop hiding. Our plan worked. JJ, is that really you? You? Yes, it's me. Thank God he's gone. I was so scared sitting here. Our parents have skibidi toilets on their backs. It's some kind of parasite. That's why they're so mean. And we have to do something to free them. I don't think it's going to be that easy. We're small and weak, and they're big with knives. I don't know, but we have to do something about them anyway. We gotta get out of here. I'm starting to dislike this creepy attic. I ran so fast to that attic. My father ran like mad after me with his knife. I had the same thing happen to me only with my mom, but she's somewhere in the basement right now trying to get into a little dish elevator. Good thing this house is so big. That's the only reason we're alive. And by the way, my potion was very helpful at this point. Yeah, you're right. But now we have to think about how to save our parents. I don't want those skibidi toilets hanging on them forever. And what do you suggest we do? Um, gotta get those stupid toilets off their backs somehow. But they walk around with knives all the time. It's so dangerous to get close to them. You're right. A especially since we're too small to even jump up to them. Now we have to hide in the other room. 
We've searched every room. I couldn't find anyone at all. It's like they vanished. They didn't go anywhere, you stupid idiot. I saw JJ in the basement and he took the elevator somewhere. Stop calling me an idiot or I'll stab you with my knife. Okay, I think they're gone. JJ, hallway's clear. We can run to the other room. Let's go, let's go. Whew, I don't think we've been spotted. It's so scary walking around here. Keep your voice down, JJ. You're making too much noise. Okay, I don't follow it sometimes. Oh, something's happening to me. Mikey, you've grown big. You're also changing in size. Oh my God, we're back to the size we were before. That potion stopped working. I'm finally back to my old self. Now we can free our parents from skibbity toilets. It's about time. And how are we going to do it? Somebody's got to distract them, and the other has to get the skibbity toilets off the parents' backs. I think you'll do a great job as bait. Uh, okay, I think I can do this. I hope you can get the skibitists out in time. Oh, there's our parents. They don't know where to find us. Seriously, they're so stupid. I have no idea where they're hiding. I've searched the whole house, and you've only searched the basement. Hee hee hee, it's time for you to come out to them. If I see them, I'm going to put a bunch of holes in them. Oh, you guys are so stupid. Here I am. I'm shocked you couldn't find me. Ha ha ha, you're the one who's stupid. You shouldn't have come to us. Hey, why don't we talk and not fight? Stop talking. Come here. We won't cut you with these knives. Ha 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 ha, we want to play. Hey, if you want to play, put your knives away. Uh, okay, well, he seems like he really wants to play with us. Are you serious? Why are you being so kind? Mikey, come on. Ha ha ha. You guys are so stupid. We outplayed you. And there's those stupid skibbity toilets. I'll throw them in the trash later. I'd bury them underground altogether. What's going on? Where are we? Why does my back hurt so much? Because Mikey saved you from the parasites of skibbity toilets. You chased us around the house with knives. You gave us quite a scare with that one. Oh, excuse us, please. Thank you so much, kids, for saving us. Yeah, you guys are the best. Happy to help moms, dads, and we're going to take Mikey for a walk. A few moments later. I decided to switch on the swing set, but I almost threw up. I now use the swing as a regular bench. Then why were you swinging so high? Come down, Mikey. I just wanted to see how high I could swing. Always gotta know what you're capable of, JJ. Who doesn't make mistakes doesn't drink champagne. Understand? Mikey, what champagne? You're just a kid. JJ, it's just a saying. You're missing the point. Learn the proverb, silly JJ. Oh, Mikey, look. Parents are out. Where are they going to go? I don't know. Let's ask them. Hey, Dad, Mom, where are you going to go? Hi, kids. We're going to go to the store. Yeah, we're out of salt. I can't live without this seasoning. Is there anything you need to buy? Uh, sure. We'd like chips, Coke, and burgers. And nuggets, too. Okay, we'll buy it. Kids, don't take long walks. When it gets dark, go straight home. It's dangerous outside. We'll be back soon. Okay, we're off. Be good boys. Don't be naughty. Bye-bye. Don't miss me. Bye-bye, Mom. We'll be waiting for you. And don't run in the roadway. You could get hit by a car. Of course. We better not play in the driveway, Mikey. Oh, JJ, look. Some kind of truck. I've seen it before. Oh, my God. It's a skibbity toilet scientist. Okay, these two options are the right ones for my trials. <laughs> Who are you? Come here, sweetie. <laughs> hey, put my mom back. Get your claws off him. What are you doing? I'll take this one, too. Too good a test subject for my experiments. <laughs> and you kids get out of here. What's going on? Where is he taking our parents? Hey, stop. Stop the car. Give us our parents. I hate you toilets. JJ, what are we going to do? That stupid toilet took our parents. I don't know. Usually it's us who get kidnapped, not our parents. I think we should call the police. They'll probably help us. The phone is at home. Let's go home quickly. Why does the skibbitus need to take our parents? He said it was for some kind of experiment. Oh, my God. He's going to put our parents on pills. What's going to happen to them? I hope they get out of his captivity. They are strong. I hope they get out too. Come on, JJ, call the police. Yeah, but I forgot the police number. JJ, how could you forget the number? So remind me, is this the smartest one here? The police number is 911. Dial faster. Okay, 911. Hello, this is the police sheriff speaking. It's your emergency. Hello, Mr. Policeman. Our parents have been stolen. Some skibidi toilet scientist grabbed them and took them away in a truck. I will test on you my own serum that causes extremely high levels of aggression. I'm so smart! <laughs> These levers will send electrical impulses to their brains, so I can reprogram them to think what I want. And what do I want? I'm sure it's something nasty. <laughs> I'll add a little bit of this, except I forgot what that lever does. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Now they're gonna want to eat their children. What a genius I am. Now, bam, all of it. Now they're cannibals. Ah, oh, my head hurts. Me too. It hurts so bad. My, my greetings, our master. master. We await your orders. We'll do whatever you tell us to. Everything is going exactly as planned. Both of you, you'll go home pretending nothing happened. The next morning you have to eat. Eat your babies. <laughs> I should shut down the virus. I'm gonna need it. Three hours later. You know what I mean? Our parents were stolen. 
They were stolen this morning. Yeah. They were stolen over there by the bus stop. Right there? Where am I pointing? Yeah, right over there. It was done by a Skybitist scientist. Okay, did this toilet have any special markings? What did the truck look like? I want all the details of the crime. The Skybitist had a mechanical claw from a toilet bowl. He was half bald, gray-haired, glasses. So he drove off in a rusty truck. That's all we remember. All right, great. Your testimony will help the police investigation. What? Mom? Dad? You've been stolen! Hello, children. We came from the store. Hey, everybody. My husband and I arrived a little late. What? Why did you call me here, then? But our parents were really stolen. I don't understand. You were stolen by a Skibidi toilet. How did you get back? How is that even possible? No, kids. It's not funny at all. I've got a lot of things to do. I don't want to play with you. Please forgive our children. They were just playing. We'll talk to them. They won't do it again. Thank you for coming. Well, then keep a better eye on them. You better get going. Have a good day. Goodbye, Sheriff. Again, sorry for the inconvenience. See you later. Bye-bye. Mom, Dad, we saw how you were grabbed and taken away in a truck. No, 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 none of this is true. We were just in the store. It's all good. Now go to bed, both of you. You don't remember anything about the scientist Skibidi? It's late, baby. We'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Go to bed now. You two are weird. Are you sure you're okay? We're fine. Go to sleep, or you'll both be punished. Okay, 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 we're going to bed. Just don't swear, please. It's like our parents have been replaced. Yes, they are very weird and rude. Maybe that scientist did something to them. I don't like it. Yes, we should be wary of our parents. There was some more steam coming out of their heads. Something's not right. Okay, we'll decide what to do tomorrow. Now let's go to sleep. Okay, JJ, let's go to bed. We really have to be careful. I don't think this is going to go away tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Good night, Mikey. Good night, JJ. And I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. I just hope for the best. Here are some of our favorite and delicious babies. I'm so hungry. I can't wait to take a bite out of them. I agree. I'd love to chew on them. Okay, here's the deal. You take the green one, I'll take the red one. We take them downstairs and cook them up. Honey, let's do this as quietly as possible. I don't want them kicking. Let's smoke them and fry them. It'll be delicious. I never liked that green boy. It's heavy. Let the meal begin. Well, 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 I thought your name was JJ. I don't really care. He asked too many questions, called the police. We can't leave him. I'd love to eat him for breakfast. I can't believe I ever loved that disgusting child, that whiny little baby. And I called him my son. How awful. <laughs> now they're not going anywhere. I've never eaten human meat. I don't know what it tastes like, but I think it's gonna be delicious. Nothing tastes better than these babies. My made-up recipe calls for another two-hour wait for them to cook. Drizzle with a little apple cider vinegar, pepper, and smoke over low heat. Honey, you're like my chef. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Of course it's going to be delicious, especially if they keep spinning like that. What? Where am I? I'm frying on the steak? What's going on? Is Mikey asleep? We gotta get out of here. Do our parents want to eat us? That's why they're so weird. It's awful. Honey, I was wondering about the spices. Did you remember to salt them? Salt? Oh yes, salt. I really forgot to salt them. I'll run home and get it. Come with me. Help me look. I don't remember where the spices are. You're the one who does most of the cooking in the kitchen. Okay, darling. Okay, I think they're gone. We gotta get out of here. How I sweated as I lay over that fire. I can't believe what our parents wanted to do to us. Mikey, wake up. Get out of here. Hey, what? What am I doing on the fire? Mikey, our parents wanted to eat us. They turned into Hannibals. We have to get out of here now. What? They were gonna eat me? What's this nonsense? That's what they wanted. They took us asleep and started roasting us. Before they hear us, we need to run now. I don't believe you, JJ. My parents couldn't have done it. But they did it. No, no, we have to go to them and ask them. Are you crazy? They'll grab you again and roast you. You can't get out a second time. My mom loves me. That's impossible. It's possible, baby. How dare you climb out of the fire? It's time to finish them off now so they don't run away. Knock us down. What are they talking about? Now we're going to cut you. Mikey, run. Those are not our parents. Come on, hurry up. Now I believe you. They want to kill us. What did I tell you? Stop right there, both of you. You two little pieces of meat. Mikey, run. Run for your life. Run. I'm running. Ow. I've fallen. Get up quickly. Run. Run to the police station. Stop right there. Stop or it's going to get worse. We're your parents. Don't run. They are not our parents, Mikey. Run as fast as you can. I'm running. Don't even think about stopping. I'm scared. I can finally surf the internet. I'm so tired from today. Thefts, robberies, I'm sick of it. My mom told me to study to be a computer programmer. No, I'm stupid. I went to work as a cop. It's so boring here at night. There is nothing to do. Policemen, open up, please. We need help. Our 
parents are chasing us and want to eat us. Can you please help us? You know, the second time's not funny. This is not a joke. Our parents are chasing us with knives. Okay, kids, get out of here. I have a lot of work to do. No, 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 no. It's true. We're in danger. They're coming. Yes, please help us. We don't go out to die. I will not participate in your games. Go home. It's late. What are we going to do, Mikey? I don't know. Oh, there you are. Ha, ha, ha. Now we're going to cut you up. What? Who are you going to cut? Policemen. They chased us all the way to the station. Arrest them. Okay, don't worry, kids. Hands up, don't move, or I'll shoot. No tricks here. Ha, gotcha? No, 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 Sheriff. We didn't mean any of this. We were just playing around. I don't believe you. Slowly walk with your back to the next room. You are charged with attempted murder. That's what you go to jail for. You two are murderers. Wow, that's so cool. You'll be in jail for the rest of your life. Try to kill your own children. What animals you are. Both in the cage. Fast. Hands up. Don't put them down. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney and one phone call. If you cannot pay for a lawyer, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand your rights? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Just calm down. Now you just sit tight and keep your head down! And you children, I apologize to you for not believing you the first and second time. I'm so sorry. My negligence could have gotten you killed. What's next for our parents? We should cure them. Yeah, you're right, kid. The first police station needs a doctor immediately. We got two crazy people here. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, kids. We'll cure your parents. Did you hear that? You'll be normal again. Eating people is bad. You'll realize it soon. Woo! I already said goodbye to my life while running here. I hope our parents get well. Two hours later. Don't worry, kids. I know that doctor. He's the best psychiatric specialist in this town. Oh, we're glad to hear that. Here's the doctor himself. We've been waiting for you. Here I am. Sorry for the wait. Where are your psychopaths? There they are in the cage. They wanted to slaughter their own children. Please cure them. Oh, it's a messed up case. But that's okay. They'll become normal people with my special healing drops. Wow, I think this is it. Nah, get it. Psychopathies, drink this. Become normal parents so that no more people get slaughtered and don't eat them. Okay, doctor. Wow, Mikey, they're healthy again. Our parents are back. Now they don't want to eat us. That's awesome. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again. You've been a great help to us. Well, I think it's time to let your parents out. Yeah, I think they're safe for now. Of course. Mom doesn't have that evil smile now. Children, please forgive us for everything we've done. We don't remember things very well. You don't remember? You don't remember trying to stab your kids and eat them? You're going to jail for this. I'm sorry, but we don't remember anything. Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. I forgive you. Oh, that's so cool. We're not going to get hurt. Let's go home already. Yeah, JJ, let's go home. I'm tired already. We've been running all night. Of course we were tired. Go home and tell me how we tried to eat you. Yeah, you can tell us later. Again, we're sorry about all of this. It's no big deal. You're our parents. We love you. Let's go home. Two hours later. Look at this. What's wrong? Why did you interrupt me? Did you see how many people were there? Uh, it just seems unbelievable. Mikey, is that the only reason you interrupted me? Well, yes, but it was a good reason. Oh, my God. What? Mikey, you're just, uh... Hi, kids. Oh, hey, Mom. Hi, Daddy. Yeah, hi, guys. Is something wrong? Yes, something amazing happened. <gasps> will you tell them, darling? Yes, of course. Anyway, we're going to the restaurant. Oh! Mom, will they let us in? Of course they'll let us all in, my boy. Don't worry, it'll be great. Okay. There's all kinds of delicious food. And dessert. Yeah, there's all kinds of desserts. Mikey, we're going to have a great restaurant experience. Yes, I already can't wait to order everything they have on the menu. But Mikey. Let's go. We just got to get cleaned up before we go out there. I agree. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. Great. I'll go get ready too then. Two hours later. My parents told me we had already arrived at the right place, but for now, we're just walking in some woods. JJ, hurry up. Mikey, wait for me. All right, kids, keep it down. We're already outside the restaurant. Wow. Yes, so behave yourself. Wow, I'm all excited. We've come to the right place. Oh, my God. Elite restaurant. Let's go. Oh, how much money am I going to spend today? Oh, I want to say something. Well, Mikey, what do you want to tell us? I'll order whatever's on the menu. I don't want to think about it. I want to order that much, too. Oh, God, give me strength. Mikey, Daddy will go crazy if we order this much. Yeah, you're right. Why don't we order one entree and one dessert each? Good idea. That's what we'll do. Wow, there's quite a lot of people here. JJ, it's a restaurant. It's very beautiful here. Uh, okay. Hi, we had a reservation for Speaker Man. Hello. While I'm considering a reservation, could you please tell me, do you like our restaurant? Yes, your restaurant is considered premium. Glad to hear it. Your table's upstairs. Follow me. Great. Let's go. Kids, keep up with us. Yes, it's very easy to get lost in here. Uh, okay. JJ, what are you standing there for? Hmm. Let's go upstairs. I don't want to run here. Oh, hmm. It's beautiful here, but it's crazy crowded. I'm already a little lost. Yes, you can sit down now. Oh, how soft. I hope you'll be comfortable here. Yeah. The waiter will be here soon. Have a nice vacation. Oh, thank you. Phew, I guess we can relax a little now. Yeah. Yes, it's always a bit tedious. So, what should we order? I don't know. I think I'll have the meat and chicken with cream sauce. Ooh, cream sauce. Yeah, that's good. Then I'll eat the same food as Daddy. Oh, really? Really. And we're sitting pretty high up. I like that. Wow, there's the waiter. I have to decide what to order, too. 
Oh, I think he's coming over. Oh, I think I heard footsteps. Yeah, I heard something too. I must have imagined it. Maybe. Hello, <gasps> my name is Dan, and I'm your waiter today. Hello. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have a steak, please. I'd like something lighter, like a salad. I don't want a salad. I'm thirsty. Oh, well, get us all some water then. Nice. Okay. Anything else? Yes, the kids have yet to say what they want. I want pancakes. Great. What's for you? I'll have a steak, please. Good choice. Thank you. So, two plates of steak, one salad, one pancake, and a drink. Your order will be ready in 30 minutes. Wow, 30 minutes. That's quite a lot. In fact, JJ, with all the talking, time will pass very quickly. That's true, but 30 minutes, Mikey. I understand you. Guys, the time will fly by. Uh, so let's relax and enjoy the experience of this dear place. Yeah, JJ, relax. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to relax here for a while. By the way, hmm. I've been wanting to remodel the kitchen and the kids' room for wow. a long time. Mommy, are you serious? Yes, you both have grown up a bit. Oh! I think your room should be changed a bit. Cool! Oh, Linguini, will you be done with the soup soon? Just a minute. Wow, my pork's almost done. We're on fire. That's fine. Hey, I brought the order. Hmm. All right, cooks, listen up. Say your words. Two plates of steak, one salad, one pancake, and a drinks. Hmm. Do you understand? Oh, brother, of course I understand your English words. Oh, that man. Everything will be at its best. Great. Come on, come on, get to work. Rami, we're out of salad preparations. Then make them, Linguini. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Uh, this job will make a rat out of me, not a cook. Five minutes later. So, is the steak ready, huh? Yeah, it's almost done. Oh, it's lunchtime. Rami, sir, finish your work and let's go to lunch. Oh, yes, Linguini. Food first, then work. Yes, I got really hungry while I was cooking those steaks. I'm hungry, too. Let's go. Come on, let's go cool off outside and eat. Go! So, is there any order ready? Oh, what? Where'd they go? Uh, is anyone here? Hmm, there's no one here. Okay, I think they just went on break. I'll just take the finished dish. Oh, it's steak. Hmm, should I take it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I guess that'll do. This dish looks fully cooked, so I'll take it to the family that came recently. At least I'll give away one cooked dish. JJ, we've been talking for 10 minutes. Have you noticed that? Oh, that's right. Really? I didn't even notice. Yeah, me too. You're right, Dad. Ah, huh, cool. Hmm, time went by really fast, but I'm still hungry. I'm very hungry too. Calm down. There'll be food soon. But the waiting is so tedious, Daddy. Yes, darling. I told you they'd get tired of being here. Yeah, I'm a little tired already. Oh, I've been looking all over for you. Yeah. Our cooks are on break, so only one dish is ready. What? Uh, Sorry for the inconvenience. Well, if that's the case, there's no choice. Bon appetit, Mom. Yes, bon appetit, dear guests. Mmm, the meat is the best. It's tender. The meat must be fresh, speaker man. Mom, make us some fresh meat. Oh, what's going on? Uh, was there something you didn't like? Yeah, I didn't like you. Dad? Oh, hmm. Oh my god, wait, let's talk about this. Uh-uh, no. <gasps> oh my god! JJ, this is a nightmare. He destroyed that waiter. Daddy, what have you done? What are we gonna do now? Oh no, it's panic. <gasps> oh my god. Now it's your turn to suffer, Mikey and JJ. JJ, it looks like our parents have been infected with something. They've gotten very angry. Looks like you're right. Let's get out of here. What do you think happened to them? I don't know, Mikey, but they're definitely not our parents anymore. Let's get away from them as fast as we can. Go, go, go. JJ, I'm really scared. What are we going to do now? I don't know yet. Oh my goodness, they're coming down. Come on, we gotta hide. Mikey, come here. Oh no, Mikey, where'd you run off to? I hope he's okay. I hope they don't find me. It's a kitchen, there's always a place to hide. I just need to find a good place to hide. Hmm. Oh, it's a refrigerator. I can fit in there. It's a good place to hide. I don't think anyone will find me here. I wonder how Mikey is doing. Is he okay? What? What are those noises? I should hide as soon as possible so they don't find me. I hope that refrigerator is off. Ooh, it's freezing in here. But I guess it's better than getting caught with evil parents. So, what do we have here? I heard some noises. There's definitely someone hiding in here. Someone's in the kitchen. We better see who it is. 
Maybe Mikey's here. What? Who's hiding in the fridge? Ah, uh, it's my little boy, JJ. Come to me. Don't be afraid. I'll make it quick. You won't understand anything. Oh, no. She found me. What am I supposed to do now? JJ, son, I know you're here. Don't be afraid. It'll go very quickly. You don't want to open it for me? Then I'll open it. What? It can't be. I was sure he was here. Then where did he go? Mom, I'm sorry, but it's for your own good and Mikey and I's safety. What? Let me out. Now. I'm sorry, Mom. Mom been stopped. Now we have to help Mikey with Dad. I hope he's okay. Now all that's left is to find Mikey. Just where could he be? He's not here. And there's nothing here either. Help me. It's Mikey. The scream came from upstairs. I'm got to go check it out. I wish he was okay. I'm so worried about him. Oh, no. It's our evil father. And Mikey's tied to the table. I'm got to do something fast. Or I'm going to lose my brother. But just what? Hmm, I should look around the room. Maybe I'll find something. Oh, it's the radio. That'll help me. I think I've got an idea. No, Dad, please don't do this. I'm your son, Mikey. You're not my son anymore. No one and nothing can stop me. It's all over for you now. Goodbye, Mikey. What? What's that sound? That's a radio? Yes, it worked. He fell for the radio. And who turned on the radio? Hmm. Well, never mind. I'll just go turn it off. How do I turn this thing off? Yeah, I think this is my chance to save Mikey. Mikey, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for coming to get me. Before our father sees, I have to untie you and get out of here. All right, Mikey, I've untied you. Get up and let's get out of here. Hey, you, where are you going? Stop right there. Get out of here. I agree with you. Halt to whom I say, no, I'll find you anyway. JJ, what are we going to do now? Oh, no, our father is coming. First, we need to hide. Let's run to the kitchen. Where's he gone? There he is. Mikey, run. So, Mikey, while we're running, I've got a plan. We'll put a rope under his leg so he falls. And when he's unconscious, we'll give him the antidote. Okay, I'm 100% sure. That antidote is in here somewhere. Kids, I'm coming for you. I know you're out there. Ouch. Yay, Mikey, we did it. Now, we gotta find the antidote to help cure our daddy of this. Yeah, you're right. Let's hurry up and find him then. Okay, then let's start looking. I think the antidote is somewhere in these crates. Okay, he's not here. He's not here either. Oh, JJ, I think I found something, some kind of potion. Maybe this is it? Here, check it out. It's like an antidote. Let's check it out. It can't get any worse. Okay, I think so too. Come on, throw it. I think it worked. Mikey, we helped our dad. Oh, what happened? Why do I have such a headache? I don't remember anything. Well, we've dealt with the father. So now we're down to the mom. Wait, where is she? Oops, it's in the fridge. I forgot all about it. What? Kids, let me see what's wrong with her. Oh my God, honey, you're freezing. I can't believe it. Our mom is like mammoths in ice. Dad, go ahead and defrost mom. The next morning. Look at the beautiful weather today. I'm so happy about that. Yes, Mikey, you're right. The weather is great. Let's keep playing. Come on up to my place. I can't, Mikey. It's pretty late. I have to go home. My parents and I are going to cook dinner together. Come on down and let's go home. JJ, that sounds cool. But maybe you can come over to our house for dinner tonight and we can play my new games together afterwards. Oh, my parents are there. Why don't we go ask them? Mom, Dad, are you going for a walk too? You can say so. Son, we've come to take you home. Let's go. It's time to eat soon. All right, Mom. Can JJ come to visit us today? Please. Hmm. All right, let JJ come to us. That's fine with us. Yay, JJ. Then what time are you coming to our place? Mom, it's just JJ needs to help his parents out. So what? Let's make it 8 o'clock. All right, JJ. We'll see you at 8 o'clock then. But JJ, don't take too long. I'll be waiting for you. All right, Mikey. Mom, Dad, he's coming at 8 o'clock. Let's go home. Mikey, I'll see you later. Yeah, JJ. I'll be waiting for you at home. Okay. Hey, guys. Do you think my parents will let me go to Mikey's for dinner? I hope my parents won't be too upset that I'm not cooking dinner with them. And I'm going to Mikey's. Let's go ask them if I can go to Mikey's tonight. And we can move the cooking dinner together to tomorrow. I think they'll agree. 
Mom, Dad, I'm home. Honey, what are we making for dinner tonight? I don't know, honey. We'll figure something out. Mom, Dad, Mikey's having me over for dinner at 8 p.m. Can I go? Please. It's been a long time since we've had dinner or played at his house. Darling, I don't mind. Okay, JJ. You can go over to Mikey's house. Your mom and I don't mind. Mom, Dad, thank you so much. You're the best. Okay, I'm off to Mikey's. They're waiting for me. We just said I'd be there at 8 p.m. All right, son, but be careful. And don't embarrass our family. Son, did you hear what your mommy told you? Be careful. All right. Thank you very much. You are the best. Guys, they let me go to Mikey's. They let you guys go to your friend's sleepovers too? Okay, we should try to see if the food's ready or not. Mikey, we're gonna get a weather report on the news. Mom, come here, quickly! They're going to tell us about the weather. Come on! What? Already? How fast time flies, I'm on my way. Yay, Mom! You made it before the weather report started. Did you get everything ready? Yes, son. Dinner's ready. Let's watch the news. JJ will be here and we can have dinner. Okay, Mom. Let's listen to the news. Dear residents, today I have wonderful news. In our square world is expected scorching sun and no rain. What? What are you doing here? You can't be in here. Guards, get them out of here. Hey, help! That's the end of your news. Look carefully here. Remember, you have to kill JJ. 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 We have to kill JJ. We have to kill JJ. Two hours later. Guys, here I am at Mikey's house. Look how big and gorgeous his house is. I hope I'm not too late because it's a long walk. I gotta get to the house soon. I think they're waiting for me. Hey, Mikey, open up. It's me, JJ. Hmm, <clears throat> maybe they forgot I was coming and they went somewhere else, like the store. That's unlikely, though. Hmm, <clears throat> maybe their door is open. We should try it. Oh, it worked. Hey, Mikey, I'm here. Where are you? It's weird. No one's answering. Maybe something's wrong. I'm gonna go look around. They must be in the kitchen. Let's go check it out. Oh, there's no one here, and the food's still hot. Oh, there they are, watching TV. Hmm, what's that weird show? Never seen it before. Must be something new. Mikey, your door was open, and I walked in. Uh, why are you all so angry? Oh, JJ, we've been waiting for you. Ha ha ha. I think it's time to run. JJ, where are you going? We need you. Don't run away. Oh, no, I'll hide in the stairwell. Maybe they'll think I ran outside. There he is. He's hiding on the stairs. Don't run away from us. It won't hurt you. Oh no, they've spotted me. I'll try to hide in a room somewhere. It's closed. What should I do? I have to hide before they find me. I'll check the other doors. It's closed. What should I do? I have to hide before they find me. I'll check the other doors. Maybe they're open. This one's closed too. They're coming for me. All the doors on this floor are closed. Oh no, they're coming. We have to hide on the third floor. There must be room. JJ, you'll have nowhere to hide. Come to us. Don't be afraid. Be a good boy. We have to get up there. There might be a way out. Maybe the windows are open. Oh no! It's closed here too. What do I do now? There's a door. I hope it's open. This door is closed too. What do I do? There they are. Hey you, don't come near me. I'm begging you. Wake up. It's me, JJ. Here you are. JJ, you're trapped. You have nowhere else to run from us. Ha ha ha. Oh, where am I? What is this place? I can't understand anything, and my head hurts so bad. There you go, JJ. We told you not to run away. Now, you'll never get away from here, no matter how much you want to. And no one will ever find you here. Deal with it. Yeah, JJ, you're never coming out of here again, ever. So just sit here quietly, and nobody's gonna hurt you. Do you understand me? Hey, let me out of here. No, JJ, you're gonna sit here forever. What? Forever? No, that's never gonna happen. It's so scary in here. Oh no, what am I going to do now? How do I get out of here? We've got to think of something fast. Oh, it's a ventilator shaft. Well, let's see where it goes. Aha, it leads to the other side of the cage. Then I need to break down the hatch and go in there to get out. The sooner we get out of here, the better for me.
Honey, I'm worried about our son. He's been gone so long. Do you think anything could have happened to him on the road? Honey, I think he's fine. He's just probably staying with his friend Mikey. But if you're so worried about him, let's go over to their house and take him back home. Come on, break it down, you stupid iron. You're gonna take a long time to break. My arm hurts already. Oh, I finally broke the grate. It's been so long. Well, that's not what this is about. I've got to get out of here as soon as possible. This shaft is so narrow. I'm afraid I'm gonna get claustrophobic. Oh, how could I forget there are rats in these places? I think it's as scared of me as I am of it. Good thing it didn't attack me. I wouldn't want to catch rabies. I think I'm getting closer to the exit. Oh, there's the exit. We should just break this grate and that's it. Well, I'm out of here. But what do I do next? Hmm. Well, there's the door. Oh no, it's locked. I'd better have a look around. Maybe I'll find the key somewhere. Well, there's no key here. Where could it be? Hmm. Very interesting. If I were them, where would I put the key? I'll have to look on the table. Hmm. Yeah, there it is. Honey, here we are at Mikey's house. Great, darling. Why don't we go knock on some doors? Because it's getting late. We got to pick up our son, JJ. Yeah, love. You're right. Let's go. Okay. The doorbell's got to be around here somewhere. Guys, I finally found the key. I hope it fits this door. Okay. Well, I'm not going to miss this place. So, let's get out of here. Oh, I think the key's in the lock. Let's just open it up and look around. Hopefully, there won't be any of them around. Well, there doesn't seem to be anyone in the kitchen, which is good. Hopefully, it'll be all the way out here and they won't notice me. I wonder where they all went. Well, it doesn't matter. I hope they don't come. What? Who went in the house? Oh, it's my parents. I have to run to them quickly. Mom, Dad, it's me, JJ. Get me out of here, quick. Son, what happened? Where are the others? Mom, they got really mean after they saw the news. They locked me in the basement and said I was in there forever. Call the police and let them deal with them. Okay, son, I'm gonna call the police now. Okay, dialing 911. It would be nice if they picked up right away. Come on, please, pick up the phone. Oh no, they spotted us. Here comes the whole JJ family. What good timing. We'll kill you all at once. That's what I've been telling you. Now come here, it's time to kill you. Oh no, mom, dad, let's get out of here, quick. Son, get out of here. Stay back, stay where you are. No, you're not getting away from us. Mom, Dad, what do we do now? Where do we go now? We'll catch up with you and kill you anyway. Mom, Dad, let's get out of here. Okay, son, you go first. We'll hold them off so they don't catch up with you. Okay, Dad. Oh, look, the police are on their way. They're gonna help us for sure. Hey, you, stay where you are and put your hands in the air. Serves you right, murderers. Partner, I think I know what the problem is. They were hypnotized by the news, like a lot of people in this town. Listen, do you have any more of that potion that'll help them? Yeah, I don't have many of those potions left. Oh, what happened to us? I don't remember anything. It's all a blur. Thank you very much. JJ, I want to say thank you so much for calling the cops on us. If it wasn't for you, we don't know what would have happened to us, especially you. We are so ashamed. Look, Dad, Mom, it's so good that everything turned out okay. Look, are you going to file a report on them or not? If not, I'll just have a talk with them. Them? Of course not. They didn't know what they were doing, and they didn't do anything bad to me. Okay, I heard you. JJ, thank you so much for not reporting my family. It means a lot to me. Okay, I'm going to go listen to the lecture. Mom, Dad, it's good to be done, isn't it? I'm worried about them. Won't they do anything to them? JJ, the policemen will just talk to them and tell them what happened to them. Look how happy Mikey is. Let's go see them. All right, I'll be right with you. Two thousand years later. Hey, my brother Mikey and I went outside to play soccer. Hey, hey, a cool new soccer field was built near our house. It was built in this beautiful and large park. Yeah. When our parents found out, they immediately gave us this soccer ball. Cool, let's hurry up and play already. Let's go, I can't wait too. Come on, Mikey, I'll go first. No, 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 you can't catch me, I'm faster than you. Huh, what? I can even run faster than you, like this. Look, Mikey, there's the soccer field. Wow, that's a big field. 
The workers have done a good job. Yeah, I've never seen such a soccer field with grass and goals in person. Me too, JJ. I'll beat you easily. Let's go check it out. Whoever wins smashes three eggs on the loser's head and douses him with milk. Oh my god, look! What? Behind you, a castle appears right out of the ground. Oh no. How does it come out of the ground? JJ, what is that? That looks very intimidating. I've never seen such a thing, JJ, for a castle to just come up out of the ground like that. I don't understand how a building that big can come out of the ground. Look, there's an entrance. Mikey, let's get out of here. Wow, let's go get closer. I want to see what's in there. Are you out of your mind? It's dangerous. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, Mikey, why? Look at that beautiful castle. It looks so cool. I see Mikey, but it's very dangerous to be here. JJ, come on. Let's go see what's inside. I'm sure there's something to see. Mikey, no. Mikey. Look, I'm standing here and no one's killed me yet. So? That doesn't mean it's safe to be here. Look up. How big are these doors? There's always something valuable hiding behind big doors. Oh my god, <gasps> it's kind of crazy. What is that? I don't know, Mikey, but I don't feel comfortable being here. It's very interesting here. Let's go take a closer look at it all. We shouldn't have come in here, Mikey. This is not an amusement park with scary animators. Look there, JJ. I found some interesting stuff. It looks beautiful. Oh my god, is that the heart that protects this guardian? Let's get it. No, Mikey. Don't even think about taking that. Come on. Maybe this ancient staff is a valuable jewel. We'll be rich. No, Mikey, don't you dare touch that. I'll take it. Oh my god, why did you do that? <laughs> this is not a computer game, Mikey. This is not a joke. <laughs> Put it back where it belongs now. No, JJ, I won't. What if the guard gets angry now and kills us? <gasps> What's that sound? Is that a building about to fall on us? I don't know, JJ. I told you not to touch anything. I'm sorry, JJ, but that staff was the one that asked it. <gasps> oh my god. I think the building is about to go back underground. We have to Let's run. Go. Let's go. Go, go, go. Run faster, JJ. You've got to make Hurry it. Hurry up. Hurry up. Run or the castle will crush us. I'm running as fast as I can, JJ. Oh my god. Just a little bit more and we wouldn't have made it. Ew. This castle goes back underground. Like he wasn't even here. It's something weird. Jeez, Mikey. The playground's gone. I'm sorry, JJ. I should have listened to you. You did a very bad thing, Mikey. But I have a staff. Why did you bring it with you? It could be dangerous. You're just jealous that I have such a beautiful staff. Oh my god. Let's go take him home. All right, Mikey. We'll take him home. <laughs> Only on one condition. What? We're not going to tell our parents what happened, and we're not going to show this... Okay, okay. Two hours later. We're finally home. I thought we'd never get there. I'm tired as a dog. I feel like barking. Do you remember? Don't say anything to our parents. Don't worry, JJ. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Let's go. Hide the staff. Okay, okay. Mom, Dad, we're home. Hello. Let's go straight to our room. Okay. Our kids are back. Hi. Hello. How are you guys doing? How was your walk? Hi. It's okay. We played soccer. Cool. So which one of you athletes won? Mikey? No, Mom. Mikey and I are tied. Cool. Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? No, Mom. We're tired and we're going to our room. All right, kids. Go get some rest. Thank you, Mommy. Let's go. Let's go. I told you it was going to be okay. Let's go to the room. Hee hee hee. They didn't even notice my staff in my pocket. Mikey, what are we going to do with this staff? I don't know. Let's go pretend we're playing with toys. That's a great idea. Come on, get your staff out. I want to see it. I want to watch it too and see what it can do. Just be careful our parents don't hear it. Oh my god, he looks so scary. Let's try out what he can do on you. Maybe you're about to get huge. I'm scared, Mikey. What if he kills me? Don't worry, JJ. He definitely doesn't know how to kill. By your power. Through my will. Abracadabra. Ouch. What? What did you say? Ha ha. <gasps> You've had it. You let me out into the world. Who are you? I am the keeper of the staff. You shouldn't have taken it from me. I'm here to take it back and punish you. No, please don't touch me. I didn't know I couldn't take it. Bye. Now he's unconscious. We'll have to punish him for what he's done. We need to show him what happens to people who take what doesn't belong to them. Hmm. <laughs> Naive little kid thought nothing would happen. I can't do it alone. I'll have to enchant his parents to help me. He lives in a nice apartment, though. They must be a rich family. They don't deny their kids anything. Okay, now to his parents. I will bring them under my God control. God he gets me fired from my job. Silence. Now listen to me. JJ, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Shut up. Now you will obey me and do whatever I tell you. From now on, you are my property. Listen to me and obey my orders. Bum. Hello, my lord. We are your slaves. We're here to do your bidding. The two of us can move mountains and drink all the rivers. Yeah, that's right. Well done. Now go upstairs and get the idiot who took my staff. Of course we'll do it. We'll make it fast. Stop talking. Just go get it for me. All right, my lord, we're coming. How I look forward to this hour of reprisal. 
to see his frightened face, his shaking hands, to hear his frightened, squeaky voice. Where is he? There he is, lying still next to the couch. Just lying there unconscious, poor little thief. Here it is, my servants, the brave child who attempted my staff. We'll penalize him. He'll get what he deserves. Exactly, Lord. We'll give him the kind of torture that he'll remember for the rest of his life. Stop talking. Take him down to the basement. That's where he'll get what he deserves. Put him in the guillotine and make him awake. Okay, my lord. We'll do whatever you tell us to do. We'll make him suffer. Oh my god, bring him in already. I've made myself a spiteful slave. Can't keep quiet for a minute. We will be silent. Yes, my lord, we will be much quieter at your request. Just get him to the basement. Talking creatures, damn it, bring it. You awake, little buddy? Please don't touch me, I'll do whatever you want. I want you to suffer. Unfortunately, I can't fulfill my wish without touching you. Well said, my lord. Shut up, you will suffer for stealing my staff. Please don't, I'll give him to you, but don't kill me. Should we forgive him? No, of no. course not. See, no one here wants to let you go. That's because you're a little thief who thinks he's a brave little guy. Please don't touch me. I've realized my mistakes. It won't happen again. You can start messing with him. Do whatever you want to do. Who is that? We, we don't, don't know. know. Is he immortal for ringing the bell like that? Yes, my lord. We must punish him too. Sit tight. Don't make a sound. You go get him already, you idiots. Yes, my lord. We will take him and punish him. He can't escape. Yes, my lord. He... Just go. Oh my Help! god. Stay quiet, I said. It's so difficult with these people. It's the delivery man, my lord. So go and get him. Is that so hard to understand right off the bat? Hey, you. You're the one who likes to ring the doorbell around here? Hello, I'm a pizza delivery guy. Uh... Brought you juicy, hot, fresh pizza. Hmm. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? We should chain him up just like the little thief. What? And make a good joke out of it. Moments later. Guys, this isn't funny. I hope you're at least tipping me. I'm willing to do that for at least 20 bucks. You're two of our victims now. You'll both get what you deserve. Two victims are always better than one. Finally, we can have some real fun. Please, no, don't let's touch hurry me. Up. You want to make it fast? Yeah, I'm bored. And you want to be left alone? Please let me go. Look how funny it is. Yes, my lord, it's a lot of fun. You've got a great idea. It's a lot of fun. So who shall we start our fun with? I think we're going to start with someone who wants to finish quickly. Yes, please, just pay me. Let's go upstairs. Talk about what we're gonna do so they don't hear. That's a great idea. Let's go discuss it and let them get some rest. Don't be bored. We'll be there soon. What a beautiful day today. I'm energized. What are the plans, my lord? Let them sit in awe for a while. I like that. That's a great plan. I love the victim's sense of fear. It's the best feeling during torture. Okay, you stay here and make sure they don't do anything stupid. Okay, okay. My I'm lord. gonna go get a glass of water. It's sad to sit here chained up. I hope we can get some help. But how can we get help if no one knows about us? Looks like we're destined to be killed after all. All we can do is hope for a miracle and pray for help. Very, very scary. Wait, the delivery guy had a cell phone the whole time? How am I supposed to pass this stupid level in this game? Hello? You've got minutes to live and you're playing Mario? Are you serious? Are you alright? What? What? This level's gonna kill me! I've been trying to get through it for weeks! I'll pass it. I know I will. What's wrong with your head? We could be killed right now. Quickly get out of the game and call the police. We don't have much time left. What? Kill? I thought it would be just a game. Okay, okay, I'm out of the game and I'm calling the police. What's the address? This is it. The moment has come when I can get revenge on my abuser. And we can have some fun with the kids. Make a little fun of the defenseless to feel their fear. Come on already, I can't wait to get started. Let's go. What's up? It's payback time. Everything has to be paid for, and the price for mistakes is double. Please, no. We're looking to hire a delivery guy. We really liked him for his smart. Please don't kill me. Okay, no problem. Take him. I'll keep the thief. Well, it's time for us to start having fun. Come here, little man. <gasps> Wait, what's that sound? Sounds like the sound of a police siren. We're about to be assaulted. Did you call the police? Yeah, haha. -ha. Did you give him the phone? <laughs> I'm gonna get you right now. Freeze, don't move. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. This is the police. Oh no. My name is Sergeant Felix. You will be detained on suspicion of kidnapping and assault. But we didn't do anything, Sergeant. We were just having fun with our friends and- Is that true? I don't believe you. No, they're lying. They bound us against our will. This is my family. They're enchanted. That's what it is. Please set us free. We'll deal with you. I'm coming to open you up. Hey, hey. Thank you, Mr. Policeman. Get out of my way. Let me release the last hostage. Okay, Sergeant. I'm free. Thank you so much. You're here on time. Thank you, Sergeant. I'm going to run because I got a customer waiting to give me a pizza. Okay, bye. Goodbye, loser. You'll be in jail for a long time. Oh, what? No. You can remain silent. You will be detained until the circumstances are clarified. Sorry, JJ, but you deserve it. That's right. Thank you. Get ready, let's go. No! Please let go. The next day. I was the only one who could carry that basket all the way over here. Wow, Mikey, you're so strong. Yeah, JJ, because I eat meat. My island friends have given me a great meat diet. There's 10 pounds of meat in this pizza. 10 pounds in pizza? The pizza itself doesn't weigh that much. Is this a joke? 
No, it's not a joke. You just can't cook and you don't know anything about cooking. I eat a lot of meat. Would a normal person be able to climb up here? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't. I did because I'm superhuman. Super poopy man. Can you jump from that high? Oh, sure. Yeah. Too easy for Mikey. Okay, JJ, let's go home. Let's play Xbox. I hope you're stronger than me somewhere. Whoa, come on. That's a great idea. Let's play Minecraft, shall we? Yeah, it's been a while since we played this great game. Oh, you hear that? Someone's cursing. Let's go see. By the sounds of it, you can hear a fight. What's going on in there? You're horrible people. Freaks with speakers on their heads. You have to think about putting a speaker on your head. Hear me, you. You pathetic TV. Let's go out. I'll smash your face in. Yeah, you're nothing. You're going down with one punch. What's going on? Nah, get it. Nah, Be him, honey. Stop this madness. Why are our parents are fighting? Come on, come on. You're gonna knock him out. Nah, get it. That looks awesome. You like it? Another punch and another. You're missing every punch. Did your mom teach you how to fight? You're gonna answer for my mother. And here's a right uppercut. No! You, that was easy. Go learn how to fight, kid. What did you do? That's my dad. Why? Dad? Daddy? God, it was so easy. I'm so cool. Yes, my love. You are so strong. I love you. Mikey, get out of here. We are no longer friends with this family of stupid monkeys. Watch your filthy language, or you won't be able to get up a second time. A second time? I just tripped. You're weak. Tell that to your wife. Now get the out of here. What idiots you all are. Go on, go on, get out of here. Get out. Mikey, let's go. You don't need your buddy, JJ. JJ, it looks like we're not gonna hang out anymore. But it was our parents who had the fight, not us. I don't care. You and I aren't friends anymore, JJ. Goodbye forever. Yeah, Mikey. And your son is an orangutan, just as dumb as his daddy. You're all stupid. I'm gonna punch your stupid wife, too. They're finally gone. What just happened? Mikey got mad at me. What did you start the fight about. Mikey's dad said I was fat. I'm not fat. I'm going to the gym. It was very upsetting to hear that. Then your dad stood up for me. Yes, it was very uncultured of them to say that. Yes, it was very frustrating. Let's go inside. We'll talk there. All he did was call you fat and you started punching each other in the face? Yeah, that's where it all started. Okay, JJ, it's getting late. Go to bed now. What? Is it late? Yeah, JJ, look at your watch. It's 9 p.m. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, go ahead. Go back to sleep. But why don't we talk first? What's there to talk about? Mikey's family are rude. They have no social skills. Yes, darling, you're absolutely right. Thank you, sweetie. And thanks for sticking up for me. I love you. Oh my God, there they go again. <laughs> Pooh, that was a good night's sleep. Mikey's not talking to me. Do you guys fight a lot with your friends? Tell me in the comments. Now I need to talk to my parents. I want them to reconcile and be friends with Mikey's family again. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Dad. Oh, good morning, JJ. How'd you sleep? It's fine. Good morning, JJ. I have a headache from last night. Oh, let's get some rest today. Spend some time together, maybe? Okay. Mom, Dad, you have to make peace with Mikey's family. No, 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 no. Are you crazy? What are you thinking? No, 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 no. That's impossible. They hurt your mom and you want to put up with them. Whose side are you on? anyway. I'm on no one's side. I just want to be friends with Mikey again. No, you're not friends with Mikey either. We don't hang out with that family anymore. That's enough about them. Let's go to breakfast. Yeah, I made breakfast for all of us. Let's go eat. I'm not having breakfast. Mikey's my friend. I'm going to go make up with him. Okay, do whatever you want. I'm going to go and do it. Bye, everybody. Oh, I think I see Mikey. I should go over and talk to him. Our families were the ones fighting, not me and him. I hope he realizes it too, and we will be friends like we used to be. Although it's Mikey's mom who's fat, not mine. Mikey, Mikey, good morning. Can we play together? Did someone say play? Oh, it's you, JJ. We're not friends anymore. Go away. What are you talking about? We were friends. Not anymore. If you don't leave, I'll hit you. Get off my playground. Mikey, please listen to me. Let's make peace. You're not my enemy. Yeah. What are you doing? Why did you hit me? Ow! Mikey, stop, please. Go home before I beat you up like my dad. But it was my father who won the fight. Ouch! I warned you. Don't come near me again, JJ. I'm having fun playing here without you. I'm not gonna listen to a nerd like JJ. This is so cool. I don't understand what happened. Maybe it's his parents' influence on him. What should I do? I want to be friends with him again. Who do I play with now? It's annoying. Three days later... I'm so sad without Mikey. We had such a good time together. Where's Mikey now? Maybe he's sitting at home. No one in their right mind would go out in this weather. I remember that day as if it happened now. He also left his pizza here. I have to go to his house, talk to his family calmly, try to make peace. And you guys, put likes on the video, subscribe to the channel, and then you will never fight with your friends. My parents are adamantly opposed to talking to their family. They're so stubborn. I hope it works out for me. I'm gonna have to take the bus to Mikey's house. I'll measure them. Wow, Mikey has such a huge and cool house. He's never invited me over to visit. I hope they didn't go anywhere. Otherwise, I didn't come here for nothing. Okay, I gotta make a call. Mikey, Mikey, come out. I have to ring the doorbell. Maybe they're on the second floor and didn't hear me knock. What's taking them so long? Maybe they really left home. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. Or maybe I should just go inside. 
Maybe they're in trouble and I should help them. Of course it's not nice to break into someone's house without asking, but I didn't get an opening. Not my fault. Mikey? Mikey, where are you? Please come out for a minute. Here I am. You shouldn't have come here, JJ. Now we're gonna get back at that little guy. Yeah, we will. So why'd you come here, JJ? Uh, I've come to peace. We feel very bad about what happened the other day and we apologize. Why are you so close to me? Now we're gonna beat you up. Wait, what? No, 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 don't. I came to apologize. It's too late to apologize, little man. It's too late. Ah, oh, my head. It's splitting in half. Where am I? What happened? A little joke on you, JJ, but that's not all. Yeah, JJ, there's more. You're stuck here forever. This is for what your family has done. Is this some kind of joke? Please let me out. Yeah, we're just gonna let you go like that. Now, now, huh? Please let me out. My parents will be looking for me. Mikey, we're best friends. How could you do this? Let you out? We'll kill you. Ha! What are you going to do? This is bad. I thought we were joking. Why don't we let him out? No, of course not. We're not letting him go anywhere. We're not kidding. We'll kill him and bury him. What? Don't, please. JJ's my friend. Don't kill him. I thought we were gonna have a little joke and let him go. Why? This is bad. Please, Mom, Dad, don't do this. Go to bed, Mikey. We'll take care of this without you. If you're really going to do this, you're going to regret it a lot. My parents will find me. You're as dumb as your parents? How do they even put up with you? Or they just don't like you. Nobody's gonna help you, JJ. My parents will help me. You're going to jail. You hear me? You are a family of maniacs. What am I supposed to do now? I shouldn't have come here. I shouldn't have listened to my parents. I'm so stupid. We'll lure JJ's parents out and then we'll take them down. We will never forgive their rudeness and ignorance. With this note, they will come to our lair on their own. These idiots are too dumb to fall for that trick. My plan is genius. And now, run! Huh, I'm so smart? I'm sneaky? I'm the best. Who's making a phone call? Probably some neighborhood kids playing pranks again. What? A note? Oh my god, JJ's been kidnapped. What did you say? JJ was kidnapped? That's terrible. What does it say? It says they're holding our son hostage. We have to go to him or he'll die. What? Mikey's parents did it. We have to save our JJ. I won't forgive them for this. Okay, honey, get ready. We're going to save him. Three hours later. And here's their house. JJ's being held here. They're gonna be in trouble soon. Honey, like the good old days, you and me on dangerous military missions? Oh yeah, honey. Moment of truth, it's either us or them. Oh yeah, we're gonna tear their house down to the ground. No stone will be left unturned. I love it when you're angry, honey. Let's get started. No one would dare raise insults or raise a hand against my family. Say hello to my little friend. What's going on? Stop! How can you do this? This has gone too far. We used to be close friends. This all started over one insult. And we're ready to shoot each other? This is wrong. Living in friendship and harmony and loving each other is what is truly beautiful. Make love, not war. Mom, Dad, do you remember the good times you used to have together? You used to joke around, play games, go to barbecues together. That was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Please forgive us. Yes, we were wrong. We went too far. Please forgive us. Yeah, you're right, buddy. We've all gone too far. We're sorry, too, for shooting up your house. I enjoyed shooting. Shh, honey. We apologize for all of our transgressions, too. We are very sorry for the fight we had back then. Yes, please forgive us. We've all overreacted and done bad things. I hope we don't do it again. Yes, and now we need to see our son. He needs to be let out of his cage. Yeah, kidnapping our son is just too much. I'm sorry. Five minutes later. Oh, I can hear someone's footsteps. Have they come to take me down? God, I'm really scared. And so my life came to an end. Bye, everybody. And here they are, my captors. JJ, we're sorry. We're going to set you free. Mikey, Dady, Momi, it's so good to see you all. Forgive us, JJ. Yes, please forgive us. You're the one who wanted to make peace with us all first, but we didn't listen to you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I take no offense to you. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Forgive us, JJ. We're not fighting with your parents anymore. Yeah, we're friends again. Forgive us, too, for not listening to you. Yeah, JJ, I'm sorry. Phew, so glad it ended this way. No one will file a police report. We're still thinking about it. How nice to see you all together again. Now we can play again. This is so cool. Can you believe your parents shot up our house? What, really? Can I have one too? No. No. Okay, whatever. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't fight with your friends. Yes, live in peace and don't fight. Yes, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. She's taking it down. She like salsa, one in a hole. Just like a golfer. If you ain't leeching, what can you offer?